Hello there. You're welcome to today's lesson of cultural and creative arts. In today's lesson, we are going to look into a topic shapes and sizes. Make sure you are paying attention in order to participate well. Let's proceed. Shapes and sizes. Let's first read, begin with the meaning of these two words. Shape means the outline of something. Why size is how small or big something is. I repeat, shape means the outline of something. Why size is how small or big something is. Shape simply means the visual art of something or somebody. That means shape. But size here simply means how big or small something is. Let's now look into different basic shapes. Rectangle, triangle, square, circle, cube, and so on. Let's take it again. Rectangle, triangle, square, circle, and cube. We have many other basic shapes, but in this class, we are taking these five. Let's proceed. Let's now look into sizes. Here, I would like to let you know that sizes of objects differ and they can be drawn in desired sizes, either big or small. I say that they differ and they can be drawn in desired. This simply means how you wish your shape to be. That's desired what sizes, either big or small. Examples big cylinder, small cylinder. Big star, small star. Big parallelogram, small parallelogram. That's good. I hope you really enjoy the lesson of today. But before I do the end of this class, I would like to let you know one thing that shape means the outline of something. Why? Size means how big or small something is. I will leave you with some activity to go through. In this activity, make sure you pay attention in order to answer this correctly. Number one, explain the term shape. Two, what do you understand as size? Three, draw the following shapes. A, cylinder. B, square. C, triangle. After working on this activity, submit your work to me. Bye for now.